Well, welcome to the Money Money Tip Podcast presented by Fully Funded Life. My name is Joseph Sengel. We're fired up to help you win with your money. I should correct it. My name is Joe Sengel. It's Joseph Sengel when I'm in trouble. I'm just going to say Joe now. I'm your average Joe. Or we joined you- by always by my co-host Meg yeah. and Hibbard. Huh? Meg and Hibbard. Are you fired up today? I am. Oh. You're also Joseph when you write your books. Oh yeah, I'm Joseph when I write my books. It's Joseph D. Scholarly. Yeah, I'm scholarly. <laughs> scholarly. Today we're having fun with our podcast. We're episode number what? Three twenty-seven. Yes, and it's going to be a fun one because we're going to take a look at comments that you, the listeners, have posted on our social media channels on our various different Monday Money Tip episodes. We always ask for comments. Yeah. We never talk about them. So we have one that says creative ways to diversify your income in today's economy. That was the podcast. That was the podcast. Uh, Matthew N. Feldman um, says, I've been really looking at some high dividend ETFs. I won't get rich, but it's easy money for sure. And I responded to that. Nice. I would correct you just a little bit. You won't get rich quickly. But if history is any indicator, you'll become wealthy over a couple of decades. And I love this comment because a a high dividend ETF is an exchange traded fund and it is investing in stocks that produce high dividends, profitable companies paying high dividends. I think that's interesting. You know, we talk about all the different ways that you can have your money go work for you. Mm -hmm. We call it oxen, Mm -hmm. type two income. And I, I, I'm convinced, I've said it many times, that there's a million ways to make money. And maybe he just shared a million and one ways. <laughs> because it, when you start looking with the mentality that you do not have to work for all your income, that your money can go work for you, yeah, it will change your life. So that's a great tip. All right, we got one on our Beanie Babies, my special Beanie Babies video, which was so fun. I got to play with Beanie Babies. Beanies are a better investment than crypto, at least. He's got a deer as his logo. I like it. So immediately I'm friends with him or her. Beanies are a better investment than crypto, at least. Hmm. I think the people who have crypto right now would wholeheartedly disagree. Mm. I am one of those with crypto. And so now the, the one thing I would say to record deer is he posted that three months ago. Uh, I would say this, let's give it 20 years. You know, Beanie Babies had 20, 30 years. We'll see how crypto ages. Mm. But in the short term, just like Beanie Babies were great, great investment back then, uh, crypto has been a great, great investment in the short term. Yeah. Uh, I've got another 20 years to go to be able to compare it. So record deer, record deer. Oh yeah, it's a record deer. Uh, Check with me in 30 years. I'll be 80. And we'll see whether or not you're right. I love the comment. Thanks for sharing. All right. This next one is about our episode from the truth about credit cards. So the myth versus reality episode. And they said, I've ran mine up and paid them off in a few months. I think I'll just keep them in the dresser drawer. Hey, they know that they can't can't handle it. So they're just going to keep them in the dresser. Okay. Got to worry about it. Well, I like a couple of things here. I first off have to say, I love your name, Farmall Fanatic. Because Farmall is a, it's an old style tractor. So Farmall, he's a Farmall fanatic. So I'd love to see a picture of Farmall fanatics tractor or tractors. I bet, I bet he has plural, but he's ran them up, paid them off in a few months. So he ran them up, probably buying Farmall parts, probably. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, but you'll think he'll keep them in the dresser drawer. And we were talking about, uh, should you chop them up? Should you keep them? Should you close your accounts? Uh, and he's responding saying, hey, he's paid us off, but he's going to keep them around. Mm. And so hopefully he's learned his, his behavior. And he's really just saying the credit card is not the problem. Mm. When the debt showed up on it, it was me, not the credit card. Yeah. And I think it'll do better for me behavior wise to keep them not on my person, but in the dresser drawer. Yeah, that's good. All right. This next one was about our episode on bad retirement advice to avoid. Okay. Um, And this comment says, awesome pod. You guys have great chemistry. Well, thank you. Um, The inheritance part is so true. You may have to wait 20 to 30 years longer than you think for your inheritance. And that's if the nursing home doesn't gobble up all of it. Better to look at it as a bonus if it does happen. That's it. Hey, man, that's New Jersey Life and Health uh, posted that. 
And that's a great thought. You know, it, it he, it sounds like he's a, either a life coach. Maybe it, uh, he's got a picture there. Maybe he's uh, in the, the insurance industry, maybe. Okay. But here's what I know uh, is sharing some reality of, of around him. He's observed people who have got inheritances or who were expecting inheritances and didn't get it. And we really appreciate your leaving that that comment about the nursing home gobbling it up. That is such a shocker for so many people that their mom and dad, they think their mom and dad have so much money. They have $300,000. And then one of them gets sick. Alzheimer's lives seven years in assisted living. Boom. That money is almost but all eaten up. Yeah. Great comment. Mm. Great. I like this uh, KN Glue Gone 1 in our Bad Retirement Advice to Avoid, episode number 306. Uh, said, so said it, forget it, regret it. <laughs> it's a great comment. So I, I think, I think that's that if you leave your ac- account just sitting there and yeah. never pay attention to it. And this is for all those people who just take all their envelopes, you know, their updates. Now they just get them electronically and they just file away. They never even open the file, mm-hmm. never look at it. And just like put their fingers in the ear, blah, 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 and hope that 30 years from now it works out. Yeah. It is not said it, forget it, and regret it, but I do like the rhyme of it. It could be that. And so we want to set it and remember it occasionally mm-hmm. and get some coaching along the way. Yeah. Great. Oh, Mastering Debt, Loans versus Credit Card Debt Explained, episode number 307. Jerry Camone Jr. said, I paid off my car. I thought so. Listen, don't ever go back. Having a paid off car is awesome. All right. Oh, let's do these tipping ones. Oh, tipping what? The tipping episode. The that, tipping. I really like that. The tipping episode, episode uh, generated more comments than anything we've ever done. And so let's go. Redneck sportsman. If I have to order standing up, I'm not tipping. I, you know, I went somewhere last night and I, I didn't even get food. I just got like a drink to go and it asked me if I wanted to tip. And I'm like, no. I read this comment a couple of months ago and I was at a local Mexican food establishment and I had to order standing up, but you can see them working in the back, prepping your food. You can see them. And it says you want to leave a tip. Ugh. And I felt, I I was, I'm going to admit it, I was guilted into tipping. I feel that I way. I could not look at them. I hate when they stare at you when, yeah. you're, putting, when you're checking the box. It's Can you like, just give me a personal moment? They were overcharging me for my tacos, yeah. and I still tipped. But I, I reduced it. I hit the 10% button. No. Oh. Well, uh, all places don't have that button. The yeah. lowest is 15, usually. Uh, tippy, uh, Jep, 1948. Does that mean he was born in 1948? That's awesome. 75, 76 years old. Tipping should be replaced with paid benefits and at least minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Tipping could then be rounding up to the nearest one or five. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. I I think there's considerable movement underway, Jeff, for that. (laughs) I, I really do. I think there's considerable movement afoot that... The minimum wage, which has not been changed in two decades of like two thirty five an hour, mm. is a tragedy yeah. and keeps people stuck in the low income broke cycle. Yeah. Yeah. This one, so private info seventeen eleven. Private info seventeen eleven. They said there was a sign at a local tire store that tipping is accepted. And at first I was like, Wait, what? And he said I'd never thought about it when one of the workers was checking my tires in the cold weather and rain. I was happy to tip the man. See, that's awesome. Yeah. You like Discount Tire offers free uh, airing up of your tires. Mm-hmm. You know, the first cold spell happens a lot of times yeah. the t- tires need aired up. That's a good idea right yeah. there. That's a service. But you wouldn't okay. even think about tipping people while they're fixing your tires. But uh-huh. then you think about cold in the rain. Yeah. Brian Collins, 6097, says, Great video. We tip well when service is rendered, not when we are guilted. I recently gave a 100% tip to the Pet Smart employee who gave my German Shepherd a bath. One look at her, and I knew I she deserved it, and probably quit after that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was nice. You know, I think that's that moment. Like you're sharing, you you saw somebody go above and beyond. Yeah. And you also 
obviously had positioned yourself to be able to give generously and you acted on that. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's what, that's what tipping is meant to be. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be, Hey, you offered amazing service. You served us well. I'm going to return by generously yeah. giving more than what the bill is. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, this is Mr. Lob Dog. What a name. Lob Dog. Mr. Lob Dog. I have to disagree, disagree that if I go to a sit-down restaurant where tipping normally occurs, that it's on me, not that it's on me for not being prepared. That's good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He's not prepared. You, if you're going to sit down restaurant, you need you to be prepared. Tip. Yeah. Oh no, I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared not to leave a tip unless the server earns it. And if I'm getting takeout, I will never leave a tip. I'm paying for the food already. I'm doing the legwork to go get it. I'm standing in line. Not a chance I'm tipping. I appreciate Mr. Lob Dog's approach, mm -hmm. right? I, I will just say this, though. This is the stunning thing for me. Uh, my daughter, uh, her business got acquired, uh, or they acquired another business, and they laid off their whole department. Oh, wow. And so uh, this is about a year ago. And she is a do whatever it takes. So here she is. She's got this dual degree. She's in school for another degree. And she went and got a job at Outback. Mm. And she proved again, she's a server. She said again, the same thing is true that I have heard all my life that Sundays are the worst day mm. to wait at restaurants because all the Christians show up and they don't tip at all. And they're mean. And she, she sat and observed it again. And I'm like, we got to do better. Yeah. What in the world? They trash the place and don't tip well. What in the world? Yeah. So please, for the love of God, yeah. be generous. Yeah. There you go. All right. Uh, he is tipping out of control. I let you pronounce this name. VJ Anabala Subramanian, 8837. I, That's awesome. You did good. Uh, thank you, VJ, for, tip, uh, for sharing. Do you tip if service is good, but food is overpriced mm. or quality is not great? Uh, oh, ooh. that's a tricky one. I, 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 uh, well, you wouldn't I will tip the server, but I will let them know that the quality was not great. I will let yeah. them know. I, 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 it can be uncomfortable, but I'm going to let them know. Or if the food's overpriced, I mean, I try to do this. I'm going somewhere new. Look at a menu ahead of time if you can to know, but... So maybe you already knew the food was overpriced and you're just going for the atmosphere or the environment. I don't know. There's a lot of comments on the overpriced, the tipping. Yep. Yeah, well, let's see. see uh, Rice Yum Yum says, I don't eat in restaurants anymore. Just order pickup to avoid the tips. Hey, that's a good Hey, it's a strategy. Hey, saves money. Yeah. Barbara at 5729 says, tipping has never been out of control. Asking for tips maybe, mm. but I'm sick of hearing about it. If you've never worked in the service industry, you should just be quiet about it. You think the waitress who took your phone order, packed it, and made sure everything was correct, provided no service? People who complain about tipping need to just stay home. I like the clarification you provide. I agree completely. We should have framed the question as, is the request for tips out of control? Mm -hmm. Thanks for your great thought. All right. Well, let's wrap it up. Uh, that's a lot of great comments. Listen, y'all, we love being able to hear from you. Uh, it, we get great ideas for podcast episodes. We get additional stuff that is helpful for everybody else who is part of it. And I don't know about you, but sometimes when I watch a good video, I actually just race to the comments and have more fun there. <laughs> you guys are what makes us fun. You're what makes it worth it. Thanks for being a part of the Monday Money Tip podcast. And we'll see you next week with an all new episode. Can't wait to see you then. Get fired up. Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's a lot more content on our website. We got a few of them linked right here and we got a subscription link as well. We would be so honored if you would click that like and subscribe button and go learn some additional stuff so that you can live your fully funded life.